Hi, it's vegan personal trainer and nutritionist Paul from Hench Herbivore. People tell me all the time they want to be big and lean and healthy as a vegan, but they do want to spend tons of money on food. You know, a lot of people are on a budget nowadays, aren't they? Uh, and so today's full day of eating is all from LD Supermarket. It was super cheap. The one thing I couldn't get was protein powder um, currently, but I got that from my protein, dirt cheap. Made some delicious things like this. Why don't you check it all out? For breakfast, we're making a blueberry and walnut oat bake. This is great if you want to change from your big, gloopy, sloppy, huge porridge you have to get down your neck. It's really easy just to get it down. Travels really well too. Step one is to preheat your oven at 180 degrees Celsius. That's 355 Fahrenheit. Line an eight by eight inch baking tray with parchment paper. We need 130 grams of oat flour. I don't have oat flour, but I do have oats in a blender. I've put too much in it though. Smack his bum. You'd like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> now we'll add in 70 grams of a vegan protein powder. I've gone for a strawberry vegan my protein. 110 grams of fully fledged oats. A teaspoon of cinnamon, come on now. A teaspoon of baking powder. What? Um, this recipe often has a pinch of salt, but the protein powder probably has a pinch of salt in it, so don't bother. Let's find out. It doesn't. Oh. Do you want a pinch of salt? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I look pretty. This video is sponsored by me. If you'd like to get into awesome shape like our phenomenal client Kelly did in just 12 weeks, then check out our online coaching service at henshubbervore.com. Give us your money. Link below. To a clean bowl, we're going to add two ripe bananas. Now we'll add 250 mils of soy milk. This one from Aldi is just 50 pence. It curdles in like a coffee or whatever. It's no good, but it's fine for baking with. And just mix it through. Now add your wet to your dry ingredients and mix that through. Now we'll add 40 grams of crushed walnuts. Power. <laughs> <laughs> These add like a really good texture, don't they? Yeah. Then we'll go in with 160 grams of raisins, 150 grams of frozen blooms, and then I'm going to add a tablespoon each of ground chia and ground flax. And mix it three. And then we'll press it down into the pan. And then you can smooth it out with a spoon if you wish. Bake in the oven for 20 minutes, flipping halfway. <laughs> Just kidding, you big silly. You don't need to flip it. Mmm. <laughs> Decadent. Succulent. <laughs> and other words. Moist. Nice bit dry, so I'm saying. Probably. <laughs> Shut up. Okay, There's okay. nothing wrong with it. <laughs> <laughs> I nearly put a hole in the table. <laughs> to recognise that my servings probably look a bit big. Do you know, if just for the sake of the thumbnail, I'm just going to do one. I'm serving mine with some plain soy yogurt and a few fresh berries. Oh God, I got timed out. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Amazon. Thank you. So yeah, I'll get to eat <laughs> two of these. One thing about being vegan is that you never need to feel hungry. I wish I could be bothered to make this every day. For lunch, we're making a super high protein pasta salad with crispy shredded tofu. 
Hey, baby, I'm just back from the gym and I'm freaking snacktacular. Go! Yeah. Give it everything you got. Go, go, go. You're having this. Oh. Just that. Just oh, great. Eat that out of the packet. <laughs> do this really good, cheap tofu and you don't have to press it. You just cut it. Nice. You just cut it out of the pack. There's a little bit of extra moisture. You just pull that out. For times when your partner's really hungry. Yeah, and you're good to go. Okay. I'll just pour the extra gubbins in here. Oh. Lately, we've been getting into shredding tofu. Yeah. As though it's like a carrot. Marinating it and then baking it so it goes all crispy. That's it's so good. It's really good on a salad, isn't it? It really adds yeah. like, like a crouton. Yeah, it's a really good, versatile ingredient. Yeah. Watch the fingers. Crispy shredded fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Preheat the oven to 180 degrees Celsius, that's 355 Fahrenheit. <laughs> Not now, cowboy. <laughs> Not now. Not now, cowboy. He wants me. So now I'm going to make the marinade. Let's start off with a tablespoon of soy sauce or tamari. Two tablespoons of water. Half a teaspoon of onion powder. Teaspoon of garlic powder. Half a teaspoon... Bleh, half a teaspoon of smoked paprika. You said it, funny. Half a teaspoon. A little bit of black pepper and half a teaspoon of maple syrup. Give it a mix. Put in your tofu. Some on the table. Mix it up. Try not to sneeze in it. <laughs> <laughs> How many times have you sneezed in my food, be honest? Today? <laughs> <laughs> Now we're going to put it on a baking tray lined with parchment paper. You will find that the stuff on the outer edges cooks before the stuff in the middle. So about halfway through cooking, I like to kind of mix it up and put the outer stuff in the middle and vice versa. You like to move it, move it. <laughs> you like to move it, move it. You like to move it. Now we hear this. Now you... <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Bake for 20 to 25 minutes, flipping halfway. While that's cooking, I'm just going to chop some salad. Now for the sauce, I'm going to make two servings because if I just make one, it won't go round, it won't blend. So that's just to confuse you. Because we've got a big blender. Yeah. So you need a quarter of a can of cannellini beans. I've got half here. 20 grams of cashews. I'm obviously putting 40. I don't get it. <laughs> Little side note, these cashews from Aldi come in a paper bag. Oh nice. That's nice. Less plastic. Half a teaspoon of onion powder. Is it a quarter for the... Oh! The teaspoon? One teaspoon. If you're doing two servings like me, I forgot. I immediately forgot I was doing two servings. So it's half a teaspoon per serving. Half a teaspoon of garlic powder, but I'm putting a whole teaspoon. Half a teaspoon of whole grain mustard. A teaspoon of lemon juice and salt and pepper to taste. We use this low salt. Got about the water, 50 mils of water. Now we're gonna get the pasta on. We've gone for this red lentil and beetroot one. So we got some advice, didn't we? Someone on Instagram said, yeah. you don't need to cook this as long as it says. But yeah. It says seven to nine minutes. I tried some out earlier and did it for seven minutes. It was quite soft, wasn't it? Yeah, a bit too soft. So maybe half the time, I guess we'll find out, won't Yeah. We? Good thing is, they're just red lentil flour and beetroot powder. Yeah. What are the macros like? 100 grams, 13 grams of protein, 25 carbs, 1 gram of fat. Yeah, so for a pasta, that's really amazing if you've got gym aspirations. And just 89 pence for 250 grams. Mm. So I've got my sauce. I'm going to put that in the pasta. Give it a mix. Oh, it smells nice. I'm going to mix it in there. I'm going to go for a nice bed of salad. Salady bits. What do you reckon? Is that enough? Yeah. On goes the pasta salad. And then finally in with the crispy tofu. Okay. Mmm, delicious, creamy, crispy, and even better, Instagram versus reality, I get to have more crispy bits. <laughs> it sounds really crunchy. Mmm. 
Like little croutons. It's very good. I made the mistake yesterday of mixing the crispy bits in with the batter salad and they, they just went kind of soft. So, top tip, keep them on top. Top tip, top. Oh God, <laughs> <laughs> that's a bit, a bit unsteady underfoot, a bit muddy. So other than my hour a day in the gym, which I do six days a week, don't really get a lot of movement. Like our jobs are quite sedentary, aren't they, mate? Yeah. So we make it a non-negotiable that, you know, once a day we go for like a good bike ride. Now that I'm half a century old, I'm finding I got a bit of hip pain from all the heavy lifting over the years and not doing mobility work. Mm. That wasn't really a thing when I started out mobility work. Now it's its own workout in, in and of itself. Uh, yeah, I just find that keeps my hips in, in good nick. I feel a lot better. Uh, good to burn some mm. calories, connect with this one. You know, we can chat about things without, you know, you know, got any distractions. <laughs> yeah. Burning some calories, get into nature, you know. Mm. Just breathe, just being, being in the moment. Yeah. I feel like you really have to make movement a part of your identity, don't you? Yeah. It has to be a non-negotiable, come rain or shine, it's just like something you do. Yeah. You yeah. just do it long enough, it just becomes a habit and um, hmm. it's a lot easier to keep yourself healthy, isn't it, you know? If you can find a reason for your movement, if you can just mm. cycle to work, you know, or to the supermarket, yeah, that really helps. You know, you can look at your life now and the things that you do, the habits that you have, and you can see six months ahead, a year ahead of time, like what is my life going to look like? What's my body going to yeah. look like? Who am I going to be? You know, so it's things that you, the little things and habits you have every day now that tell you who you're going to be in the future, you know, and is that someone that you want to be and yeah. where you want to Good words, have. I love that. Yeah. If you were just worried about health, obviously you stick to the whole plant foods, however, Someone with strength or physique aspirations, it's useful to use a little processed protein food. TVP is really good, textured vegetable protein. They, where they de fat soybeans to make soy oil. It's everything that's left, so it's all the fiber, all the water soluble nutrients. It's actually really healthy. And these rosemary red onion sausages, plant based, so these are LD's own. These are really good. Per 100 grams, you've got 18 grams of protein, just four grams of fat. Now, TVP has almost that much, so you know, the oil that's in here is so minimal and it's not the horrible coconut oil that's really bad for our health so you know i'm going to make some sausage and mash it's real kind of stodgy um calorific real proper bodybuilding fare isn't it and we'll we'll try to make it a bit healthier with some added greens and, and mushrooms and things i wonder if these are as good as linda mccartney's i'm excited to find out preheat your oven to 180 degrees celsius that's 355 fahrenheit Wash and chop 300 grams of potatoes. I'm also gonna chop 100 grams of cavolo nero and 150 grams of mushrooms. The sausages take 16 minutes. Now we'll get the potatoes and veggies on to cook. Because I chopped the potatoes so small, they'll only take 10 minutes, same as the vegetables. Now we'll mash the potatoes. To put a little bit of milk in there, just a little splash. A little salt and pepper. I keep the skin on the potatoes because there's tons of fiber in there. It's a real healthful thing to get in ya. Yeah? I'm happy to report those sausages are just as tasty as the Linda McCartney rosemary and red onion, but the texture is even nicer, a little bit firmer. Yeah, for like a cheap sausage, you know, there's not much in the way of nasty additives and um, yeah, I like them. So there you go. I've got a bit of potato on my hand. So there you go. You can be big and lean and healthy and do all the things while not harming animals. 
If you'd like help optimizing your health and body shape for sports performance without hurting animals, head over to henshopperboard.com. We do coaching, consultations, nutrition plans, and what's the other thing? Of course. Of course, and cookbooks. <laughs>